I have no idea what this is, but I want to try it out. Wow. All right, let's try it out. Welcome to the Bulwark Evolving Demo. This demo will be improved and expanded upon for the duration of development. It serves to introduce people to the game as well as gain as much feedback as possible. The demo will get all the content for the game, but saving is disabled and there's a limit to the amount you can build. Oh, okay. Cool. This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce, and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events, and unlockables. Okay. you're finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. First, connect this outpost to the woodmill which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. Notice how workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the wood mill. We need to keep focusing our attention on the wood mill. This is your wood mill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. You just built a basic tower. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the woodmill. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the woodmill. stone quarry works similarly to your woodmill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. We can use this stone to upgrade various buildings and walkways. And, just like the woodmill, by allowing workers to build around it, the stone industry can expand. All right, all right. Hard to understand what's happening a little bit, yeah. Oh wait, did I just rebuild that? Is 
select a basic wooden tower with access to stone. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. This stone quarry works similarly to your wood mill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Outposts can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the worker output. The worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. I'm doing? Barely. Sort of. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Ursi. Speaking of which, we should get you an escort of warbirds later on. The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Okay. Oh, is this iron right here? This is too close to something else. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. Okay. This is too close to something else. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. Select your outpost, so we can start expanding it further. With iron, we can start building defensive structures, such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. Major resources now at our disposal. Let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. 
upgrade a basic stone. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky, their height only being dependent on the level of access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. Change the floor you are building from. Lower floors build foundations, while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Command tower foundations are strong battlements that support your tower. Balconies are built from high floors. The more expansive your tower, the more powerful your commanders will become if they are assigned here. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to this command tower. Okay. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. Dang. Okay. That was a bit of a thing. <laughs> I'm definitely still a, a little lost. I mean, I, I get what to do. I feel like I should maybe still have a... Uh, <laughs> still have a... Refugee a settlement oh. has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. Maybe? Oh. Sorry. Is it mine now? Think? Take them over. I will. I will. The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to.
Oh, did it not? You cannot build a harbor this close to another harbor. Yeah, you sure. Resource extractors cannot be upgraded. Encourage workers to settle around them to gain more output. The incline is too steep to build upon. get a lot more out of this. Whoa. A lot of wood. Okay. Huh. Atlan is some serious resting board face. Yeah. Yeah. Um interesting i'm i'm a, i'm still a, like a little lost like i i guess there's pay attention to the political influence of your settlement if one faction becomes dominant over the others our neighbors may seek reason a refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon Perhaps we can take these people in. I need to build this. Do I have to build the second one here? Before the Great War, the Imperial. Gotta place a harbor next to a shore. But not next to another harbor. Yeah, it wouldn't let me place cannot build here. The harbor last time. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Oh. Connect from a tower within range to a wood mill. There's no stone here to transport. I feel this. Can I break this down? Should I break this down? Oh. My ship only carries woods and wooden workers. Yeah, how do I build the other harp plug now? Okay. okay, there we go. Now we're doing it. Those are lined with the free houses. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Those aligned with the free houses now constitute the majority of your settlement. They are now the dominant. Wait, say it again? refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in.
You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Those aligned with the free houses now constitute the majority of your settlement. They are now the dominant political force. Trading and security are highly regarded and good relationships with all factions are the norm. Your surveyor can build a wood mill here. Build it and attract craftspeople and industry around it. Improving the distance, wood can be supplied in our settlement. Okay. Where are you going? This is too close to something else. I'm gonna get a drink. We're gonna go back over there and then build the other one. Is that I'm eating? I am eating little tiny super iced cinnamon rolls. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So good. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Those aligned with the free houses now constitute the majority of your settlement. Oh, I, I definitely, I, I, I'm faxing you some immediately. There, it must be stuck in the lines. Hostilities. The surveyor has been destroyed. Luckily, you made it out in one piece. We are building you a replacement now. A new surveyor has been constructed at great cost. Do take care Wait. of this one. So is there an entire combat part of this game that the tutorial didn't tell me about? How do how do I fight? How do I start fighting? How do It said you need to build ships to escort your surveyor. It never told me how to do that. Additional forces have joined our battle group. forces are ready nearby. Fly up to their command tower for them to join our battle group. This is too close to something else. Oh, my birds shoot lasers? Oh. Oh, okay. How many, how many? Okay, how much? How many do these things build? Um, <clears throat> I 
I am so confused, dude. How do I know how many of these things they're gonna build? I have two now. Oh, tab will show me? Okay. and kill them. Oh, okay. Buildings on the horizon. Those aligned with the free houses now constitute the majority of your settlement. Go. Oh. Subjugate them all? I will. Maybe vodka could help you understand this game. Oh, it's too late to drink tonight. Here. Build it and attract craftspeople and industry around it. Improving the distance, wood can be supplied in our settlement. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. You cannot build on top of the sea tree fungi. These are needed to produce wood. Hydration okay. is required. So there's no workers. This here. resource extractor is missing access to workers. Yeah. So if we do. This. And then we bring that. You bring people? Yes. And we gotta connect you to our main settlement. trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods. Okay. 
Now this is making all sorts of wooden stuff since workers are starting to build their things here. Cool. Alright. Um, now, if these guys have workers... Then we want to do the iron over here. Those aligned with the free houses now constitute the majority of your settlement. They are now the dominant political force. Do nailing, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. We've spotted a good spot for a stone quarry. The stone and gravel will allow us to build upgraded stone and concrete towers and walkways. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby connect from a tower within range to a wood mill. A local storm has been spotted nearby. Some factions use these as cover for their war parties. We should investigate. Okay. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. Six? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, where is this? Those aligned with the free houses now constitute the majority of your settlement. They are now the dominant. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I can get bits now. Sephiroth and Jacoby, thank you for your subs, guys. Thank you, thank you. This game is pretty cool. I, unfortunately, got to duck out a little bit early this morning. This evening. I got to do some recabling because I just got a bunch of cables in. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Tomorrow morning is going to be either Remnant or Layers of Fear. I think I'm going to start with Layers of Fear tomorrow morning and then we'll do Remnant in the afternoon. It'll be fun. And uh, yeah, Cozy Stare is, uh, is interesting. Big thank you to all the subs tonight. Really appreciate your support here on the Co Channel. I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. ET on the Co Carter Channel. And as always, thanks for your time. See you guys later. Appreciate you being here. Bye-bye.